Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge and this is the Tech Explained show. So in this episode of the Tech Explained show, I'll be telling you guys how you can get a stock Android kind of look on any of your Xiaomi smartphones. So I'll be giving you this end to end guide to achieve the stock Android look on any Xiaomi smartphone in this video. So stay tuned till the end of the video as I'll be covering every bit and detail about this experience. So without wasting any time, let's get started. As you can see this is my uh, Xiaomi device which is an old Redmi Note 3 smartphone uh, which is running on the MIUI 10 software. The device unfortunately did not receive the MIUI 11 update and as you can see we do not have any sort of uh, an application drawer or any sort of dark mode or nothing is present on this smartphone. It has a default MIUI interface where the icons are arranged completely on the home screen itself. So first things first let's start by achieving the dark mode on this smartphone. So in order to get the dark mode, most important thing is if your device already has a dedicated dark mode in the display settings, you do not have to use this method. You can directly jump over to the second step. In this first step, what I'll be doing is I'll be actually trying to achieve the dark mode on this smartphone by installing a third party theme from the Mi theme store. Just go to this application called themes, open the themes app. And once you open the themes app, there will be the search bar that is present at the top. And once you go to the search bar, just type dark so there is this theme called true dark that is present at the top of the table and just click on that true dark theme just click on free it will actually download this true dark theme onto your smartphone and let's wait until this theme is downloaded onto our smartphone and now what we'll do is we'll click on apply and once we click on apply what happens is all our interface will completely become the dark mode interface as you can see this is the dialer application we have dark mode this is the messaging app we have the dark mode this is the file manager application and boom we have the dark mode in file manager as well and let's go to the settings and yes we have the dark mode everywhere now since we have got the dark mode the second step in the process is to go to the google play store once we go to the google play store you have to search for an app called the Poco Launcher. As you can see, this is the app Poco Launcher that you guys have to install onto your smartphone. And the Poco Launcher has been installed on your smartphone. And when you click on the home button, this dialog box will pop up. And this dialog box actually says, which launcher do you want to keep as default? Just click on remember my choice and you just click on Poco Launcher. And let's click on OK. As you can see, the Poco Launcher has been set successfully onto our smartphone. And now since the Poco Launcher has been set successfully onto our smartphone now we can go ahead and do the customizations in case you forgot to do the previous step you can easily set the poco launcher as your default launcher by this step as well just go to the settings and just go to this installed applications and there is this three dots menu on the right top corner just click on this and you just click on default apps once you click on default apps there will be this option called launcher and just click on launcher and you just have to set the launcher to poco launcher generally it will be in system launcher you have to click on poco launcher that's it uh, and the devices such as the redmi k20 pro actually has the poco launcher by default so now once we have the poco launcher on our smartphone the next thing that we have to do is to just go to the poco launcher settings as you can see there is this option called poco settings just go to the poco settings and here there is some personalization that you can do and as per the personalization as you can see it says the background can be dark it can be light whatever your preference is you can set the background as per that anyways i am a huge fan of dark mode and i'll be setting the background to dark just click on apply and here it says the customized lay layout i have set the icon size to extra small and i have set the icon layout to five icons per uh, you know uh, display you can set four icons or five icons and just click on apply and this layout will come that means you can set five icons at the bottom of your screen and also inside the app drawer there will be five icons that will be displayed which actually looks really clean and really good you can also use this settings called double tap to lock screen you can also hide app icons and you can also enable the in-app search from this poco launcher the next step that you have to do is just go to the google play store and once you go to the google play store in the search box just type 
pixel icon pack and once you type on the pixel icon pack this is the first app that you have to install which is around 81 megabytes and just click on install and just wait until the app gets installed on your smartphone so we have this uh, uh, pixel icon pack installed on to our smartphone now what we have to do is again go to this poco settings and once we go to the poco settings and another thing guys in case you do not find this poco settings onto your uh, you know device just open this app drawer and there is uh, this hamburger menu that is present on the right corner just click on this hamburger menu and that is what poco settings actually is and now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set the icon pack and as you can see there is this option called icon pack and since we have installed the pixel icon pack just click on pixel and just click on apply and as you can see the pixel icon pack has been successfully applied onto our smartphone and as you can see all these icons look so good on our smartphone and it looks like a completely a pixel experience and as you can see we have have the dark mode we have the app drawer and we have the icons which looks like pixel which actually makes us feel this is a stock android smartphone and also we have done a separate video on how you can reduce all the ads how you can remove all the bloatware and i'll be linking those two videos in the description if you just do that you can enhance the software experience onto your redmi smartphone which actually comes with a lot of bloatwares by default and also ads are a part of experience another thing that makes any stock android phone look Look like stock android is actually the wallpapers itself generally i do not use any third party wallpaper app but i use the wallpapers that is provided by the xiaomi smartphone itself when you long press on your home screen there will be this option called wallpaper which will take us to this wallpapers app from there itself i actually download any wallpaper that i want as you can see i am setting this wallpaper from the wallpapers app itself which is actually present by default on the xiaomi devices and once i set this wallpapers app i can use all the the other functionalities of the device just like any other stock android smartphone as you can see we have this dark mode we have the app drawer we have the double tap to lock the screen and we have the icons which exactly look like the pixel icons as well so that's it for this very simple trick guys if you guys have liked this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and if you have still not subscribed to our youtube channel you have to hit that subscribe button as we are your source for all these kind of tips and tricks softwares updates and a lot of things in diverse and in detail related to technology thank you for watching guys